If you want to rank higher on Google, you know you need backlinks. But if you just email a lot of random sites asking them to link to you, what happens? They ignore your emails, they never link back to you, and your rankings stay flat and they never go to page one. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to break down how you can find the ideal backlink. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. First off, what I want you to do is go to Google and search for any keyword that you wanna rank for. So let's say I wanna rank for the term SEO company. The first thing I would do is go and see who ranks at the top. One of the sites, and I would avoid home pages. so look for websites that have internal pages ranking. The reason being is when a site ranks at the top and it's their home page, a lot of times the people that link to that you know home page most likely won't link to you. I also wouldn't look at any domain name where the keyword is the domain name. So I typed in SEO company, number one is seo.com. Even though the domain name isn't seocompany.com, it's close enough, it's a little bit biased. So I would scroll down and look for other URLs that are ranking and I look at the specific URLs. Here's one. This one is ignitevisibility.com slash services slash SEO. So I'll click on it. And then what I want you to do is go to neilpatel.com slash backlinks, right? Again, neilpatel.com slash backlinks, and then type in the URL of the specific page that's ranking at the top. And then in the drop down, I want you to click on URL, exact URL, and then click search. And this will pull up a report in Uber Suggest that shows you all the people that are linking to that URL and over time, it shows you, is it gaining you links or is it losing links? And you can even see on a daily basis how many are gained, how many are lost. This page is losing anywhere from one to two links a day and gaining one to two links a day. What's interesting is as you scroll down, you'll start seeing a list of all the URLs that are more so websites that are linking to this URL. And I filtered the links. The first filter I do is it shows all links. I click on follow because any link that is a no follow, and I'm going to show you it here, these links don't really pass juice compared to the ones that click or that are more so follow. I also have highlighted here one link per domain. If I unhighlight this, it loads a new report that just shows all the links. I avoid doing that. I more so like looking at all the links from specific unique domains. And the reason being is if one website links to a URL 10, 20 times, it's not as effective as having 100 links from 100 different domains versus you know 100 links from 10 unique domains. So make sure you keep the one link per domain highlighted. And then I want you to click on the arrow next to the source. And this will load up in URLs or in more other tabs of all the you know people or URLs linking to that site. And I keep doing it. You know, some of them look like short URLs like ift.tt, so I'm gonna ignore that. This one doesn't look like that great of a URL, blog five. Um, you know, same with those. It keeps scrolling until I find good ones. Uh, Econo Times, that looks legit. Let's see, keep going down, just web world. And I'm looking for all the people that are linking to that competitor URL that's ranking high up. And it's really simple. I'll make a list of all the sites, and there's tons of them, right? And I look for the content rich ones. Anything that's not content rich, I tend to ignore. Here's one on UC Davis. This is a college site, that's cool. Kinja. Uh, this URL is no longer live, so you can close that one. But I'll go through, I'll make a list, and right now we have one, two, three, four. So we have four decent ones. And what I'll do is I'll simply send them an email, right? So this right here, this post is by, let's see who it's by. I'm trying to see. All right, it, it doesn't say who it's by, but I would just shoot them an email and you can find their email by just going to their contact page. Or what I like doing is, I use a tool called hunter.io, and then I'll put in the URL. So this is 
Econo Times or Econo, I think I'm saying that right. So I'm, uh, and then I'll put that into Hunter and it'll show me all the email addresses that um, there are for that website and I'll email them. Now, when I'm doing this uh, with Hunter, it doesn't cost money. You can sign up for a free account, but if you want to sign up for a paid account, you can do so as well. And then I would just shoot them all emails saying like, l let's say this person's name is, I'm making it up, you know, Bob at Econo Times. I'll say, hey, Bob, I noticed you wrote an article on the three web skills that every modern employee should have. Um, and I noticed you linked out to Ignite Visibility. I have a similar site, but mine covers A, B, and C that theirs didn't, and it'll help your visitors with A, B, and C, or one, two, and three. And the more detailed you go, and then you say, hey, feel free and check it out here. If you like it, feel free and link out to me. That's it. You'll send out 100 of these emails, and you'll find that majority of people will still ignore you, but you can get around three to five or six links. And if you do that, Every week, and you send out 100 emails, I know that sounds like a lot of work, but trust me, if you do that for a few months, your rankings will start going up. It's tedious, but it works. It's simple. Anyone can do it. And I would do the same thing, and I would just make sure you Google the keyword, and just like how we did for Ignite Visibility, then I may go to the next URL. This one is Thrive Agency. So Thrive Agency, I may end up clicking on this, and then go back to Uber Suggest. And I would just put in the URL and just make sure you have URL selected here, exact URL. Click search, same thing. A report loads up. You can see that they're building links over time. You can see how many they're gaining or losing per day. And I'll go through the same ones. Like I may go through local.yahoo. Uh, some of these URLs look a little bit spammy. I would ignore them. Denver marketing firm looks okay, not great. Um, and I would just keep scrolling until I find the ones that I like. And I would just reach out and see if they're open to linking. And sometimes you'll put in a URL, you may not find a lot of great links, but it's just a pure numbers game. Here's mine. And I'm using this strategy to rank myself. It's tedious, it's exhausting, but it works. Most people don't get rankings and get the links they want because they're too lazy to put in the effort. Now, if you have any questions when it comes to link building, you can always leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer and help you out. If you enjoyed this video, feel free and like it, share it. If you just want my team to do your link building for you, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for your time.